Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, we would like to show you how you may change your laser power intensity using Benbox software. And we are exploring the way how you change a firmware on your board before doing that. Okay, we are using LX Laser, uh, LX Maker Laser software for engraving machine. We are extracting it on our desktop. We need it on our desktop. Now it's ready. Now we are using Xloader to upload a new GRBL firmware. So this is our GRBL firmware. We are uploading it. And we select TMega328. Okay, now we're closing it, running Bandbox. So opening this tab, so we see these parameters, schematic, and we have additional parameters that are here, so you can use it uh, 12 or 11, so we have it 11 for our laser, okay, it's done, and now we go and changing firmware. So we're selecting board is here and we need our nano 328 and the firmware is in bandbox folder see samples Oops, sorry um, over here rooms and this is our our firmware that we need and we uploading it okay here is coral draw you know it you see different parameters you can change actually sizes so it's here the width of the circle okay we copy it and we export to DXF for example Okay, we're ready. Millimeters, JPEG format. Okay, here we can open this this file. It's DXF format, and it's over here. Okay. Now you can start an engraving process. Also, there is another way you can use Engraver Master software. We can change our device settings. So you see it's depending on your particular model. And if you're using pen, but we're using lasers, so we don't need this checkbox. And we change X steps. So we use 80. This is for our machine. So you need to check which one, which which uh, parameter is good for you. So we do reverse X and Y axis. Okay, we're moving here. So you see different models. So this is what we are using, applying to this in the light, uh, weak and uh, weak light. So weak is the lowest, lowest parameter that we're using. Okay, moving speed, acceleration speed, So let's set up 500, triple zero, 600 here and also triple zero. Or you can use different speed it's up to you okay we're saving well weak power and you see how it looks like you can actually upload your DXF file here 
so setting up different modes and this is our DXF circle you can see it here so you can adjust speed and you can do like cutting mode so pretty much simple to work with engraver master software and also your port is here speed so that's that's pretty much what you need to know about engraving and changing firmware for your bandbox and engraver master so hope that you like this video please share it with your friends have wonderful engraving and if you have questions email me gf at enduranceroberts.com and text me plus 7916-225432 and have wonderful engraving and don't forget to visit our website endurancelasers.com and endurance-lasers.com. Bye-bye.